No Chefs. Hi guys, it's Pricey P back on No Chef DJ's channel, which is my brother. So today I'm filling in for DJ. So today we are going to be making some pot pies, but normally I would make it with turkey or chicken, but today we're going to be using some leftover pork loin that Rayshawn made for Sunday's dinner. So that's what we're going to be using today, guys. And I'm going to be showing you guys what, to, what all you would need for this recipe. But before we get into this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to No Chef, and we'll see you guys in a minute. So guys, this is what you're gonna need for your pot pies. The seasoning is you're gonna need some black pepper, some garlic powder, some salt, some parsley flakes is what we're gonna be using. The vegetables, you can get the mixed vegetables, but I'm just gonna use the peas and corn. Some, I'm sorry, peas and carrot. Some sour cream or either some cream cheese. You're gonna need a can of cream of tomato, cream of chicken, or whatever type of creams you like. Cream of chicken, cream of celery some pie crust and maybe some puff pastry. And you're also gonna need your meat. So we're gonna have, we got some pork right here that Rayshawn cooked. So we're using this leftover. This pot pies are perfect for leftover meats, guys. So yeah, let's get into getting everything prepped. Hey guys, so make sure you wash all of your cans. And if you got these little um, full little pans like I did, make sure you wash them as well. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. Just trying to make sure I sanitize everything before we get to cooking. So guys, this is the pork tenderloin I was telling you guys about. So I'm basically just gonna cut this up into little slices and get it prepped to mix together with the other ingredients. So whatever meat you have, whether it's turkey, chicken, beef, shrimp, whatever meat you wanna put in your pot pie, you wanna go ahead and prep it up. You wanna cut it a nice size, not too big, not too small, but the perfect size. All right guys, so after you chop up all your meats, you're gonna go ahead and put in your cream of chicken soup or whatever cream, you can use cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of onion, whatever. Even if you wanna use cream of broccoli, heck, put it in your pot pies, your pot pie sis. Um, so you're gonna put your creams in. You're gonna also use some chicken broth or you could just put some water to, to kind of loosen, loosen it up a little bit. Um, so you wanna get all of that in the bowl. You're gonna also get your cream cheese, your mixed vegetables, whatever you wanna put in there and get that all mixed together and your seasonings and things like that.
so right here guys we have our little full little pan so you're going to get the pie crust that we got you're going to rip a piece of the pie crust and put it at the bottom of the pan um they don't have to be perfect just rip them put them there and it, i mean you don't have to put the pie crust at the bottom if you guys don't really like crust but my family do so we're going to put it down there and then after you fill it up you're going to go ahead and put the puff pastry on the top so you're not going to put the pie crust on the top and the bottom. You're just going to put it on the bottom. And then you're going to go ahead and start filling it up with your filling, whatever you have. And then you're going to open the puff pastry and put it at the top, y'all. The puff pastry is so good. If you like a flaky crust, then that is the one for you. And we loved it, guys. All right guys, so you're gonna make a, like a little egg wash and just kind of paint it a little bit to get it that crispy, crispy coat, crispy coat. And then after that, you're gonna pop these babies in the oven. This is how they look. <laughs> so cute. All right, guys, I got me a nice spoonful. Like, guys, you have to give it a taste. Sometimes I do forget to taste it for y'all on camera, but I ain't forget this time. It's good. Mm. 
The crust is so good, guys. Look at that. Mm. Yummy.